I love just sticking this in my pocket and taking it everywhere I go. However, carrying this around as well just opens up a whole new world. If you've watched my channel recently, you'll have known I've made a couple of videos talking about why I'm such a big fan of the Sony ZV-1. It is an absolutely brilliant little camera to take with you everywhere you go, stick in your pocket and capture those moments and those memories that you might otherwise miss if you, for example, didn't have it with you or you were just carrying your big main mirrorless camera around with you that you would have had to set up and compose your shots. This is perfect for just pointing and shooting and capturing those memories. There is just one thing, however, that I'm not quite so keen on with the Sony ZV-1, and that is the lens that is built into this camera. Now, it's not particularly wide, so if you are using it to vlog with, like you most likely are doing, you have to really reach your full arm's length to be able to get a nice wide-ish field of view. I think at its widest, the lens on the ZV-1 is the equivalent of around about 24 millimeters on a full frame camera. So it's fairly wide, not really wide enough to vlog with. Now this becomes an even bigger issue when you are using active stabilization on the ZV-1 because when you do use active stabilization, what happens is the camera crops in a hell of a lot because it then uses that crop to stabilize the footage. But by having that crop, it means you're also getting an even tighter image. So what is already a tight image around your face when you're using it to vlog with is gonna be even more cropped in on your face, meaning you can see even less of the environment around you while you are vlogging. So for example, right now I am using this Sony a7C at around about an arm's length. I'm fairly, I'm literally a hand's width away from the lens and I'm using a 17mm lens. This is what vlogging on a mirrorless camera with a wide angle of lens looks like. Now the problems with the tight field of view on the Sony ZV-1 might be solved with this. Now this is a little wide angle lens from a company called Ulanzi and what it does is it screws onto the front of the Sony ZV-1 and widens your field of view to give you a much wider shot. And there is also a macro lens built into this as well so you can get some nice tight close up shots of different things which means that this lens offers you two things in one. You can get a nice wide view and nice macro shots as well, which in turn is providing even more use cases for the Sony ZV-1, which in itself is already incredibly useful in certain situations. Now, Ulanzi have sent me this lens free of charge to test out and make this video. However, they haven't asked me to say anything. All these views and opinions are completely my own. So to attach this wide angle lens to the Sony ZV-1, you attach this ring to the front of the Sony ZV-1 using the sticky tab, and then it literally screws on and that is it. And it also comes with lens caps on either end so you can take it on and off as you wish. And when you've got it on, it looks something like this. So it does add a little bit of weight and a little bit of size to the Sony ZV-1, but it is still much smaller than carrying your big mirrorless camera around with you. So I think we should go and test this out. It's nice and sunny for a change. It's not hammering it down. Let's go and get outside for a bit. Everything you're gonna see from now on in this video is gonna be shot with the Sony ZV-1 as well. I've just got the laziest cats in the world. This is Noel, just sits there all day. And Ed sits here, say hello. They are cute though, I wouldn't change them for the world. It's a bit colder than I thought it was because it's actually quite windy. But it's so nice that it's finally dry because it's not stopped raining for like three weeks. So to actually have a bit of sun and be able to get back out on the skateboard for the first time this year is really nice. crazy how much of a fair weather person I am. As soon as the sun's out I feel like a completely different person. I cannot wait for summer. I'm not a fan of winter. It's so nice. It's still cold. Very windy. But it's nice. It's not so windy that you can't actually hear me while I'm talking. I'll find out when I get home, 
but I'm currently using the Sony ZV-1 with the Ulanzi wide angle adapter and also the built-in microphone on the Sony ZV-1 as well. Big corner, big corner. We made it. Right, so let's talk about this Ulanzi wide angle lens. Right now, I have it on and I'm not using any sort of stabilization at all. So this is usually the way that I use the Sony ZV-1. But if I take this lens off, you can see just how much tighter the shot actually is. You can't fit as much in around you. So this creates not a great angle for vlogging. That is even more exaggerated if I turn on active stabilization. So now I have active stabilization on. You can see that the shot is a lot more stable. The footage looks better because it's not shaking around as much. However, it is so cropped in on my face and I have to really reach out to be able to get any sort of background in the shot. It is so tight in on my face. If I then add on this wide angle lens back onto the camera, I still have active stabilization on now. As you can see, it's still a lot more stable, but I can fit so much more into the shot. It's almost like using it without any sort of stabilization. It just makes such a difference. And if I reach right back out, this is where I would have to hold active stabilization. There's so much more in, you can see my arm all around here, I can point things out, but I can bring the camera so much closer to me as well, and that helps get better audio as well, because the audio on the Sony ZV-1 is usable, it's usable audio, However, the microphone is sat directly on top, which means you need to be fairly close to get decent audio. But by using this wide angle lens, you can get the camera closer to you, even using active stabilization, then you can get better audio and a better image. I really like this lens. Very, very useful. I am gonna have to head back though, because my battery is dying and I didn't bring another spare out with me. Bit of an error. So I'm gonna head back and I'll finish this video at home. I think the brake's a bit too hard then. Right. Made it home. Very windy, hair's all over the place. Took a little bit of a tumble but we'll keep that quiet. Camera survived. I am well impressed with this little wide angle lens. It is so useful and especially the macro lens as well that allow me to get shots like this with the grass and the leaf. Just gives this camera so many more use cases than it already had. I love just sticking this in my pocket and taking it everywhere I go. However, carrying this around as well just opens up a whole new world because I don't even have a macro lens for my Sony a7C. So to be able to use my Sony ZV-1 to get macro shots like that, oh, it's so good, so, so good. I genuinely love it. Being able to use active stabilization on the Sony ZV-1 now while you are vlogging because of this is absolutely brilliant. As I said before, you can get the camera closer to you with a wild, wider field of view and be able to get better audio as well without having to carry an external microphone. So that is just a massive bonus. If there's one downside to this lens, it is that it is quite chunky. So you can't just attach it to the ZV-1 and stick it in your pocket like you could before. You need a fairly big jacket pocket. Whereas right now I can stick this into my jeans pocket like that and not have to worry about it. I can just forget about it. I need to carry this around separately. So that is a slight downside, but that being said, stick that in your pocket, away you go. You've got a wide angle lens whenever you want it. You've also got a macro lens whenever you want it. It's just a no brainer. And it's fairly cheap as well. I think it's about 40 quid. Definitely get one if you've got a Sony ZV-1. I would highly, highly recommend it. I will pop a link down in the description below if you want to go and check it out. It's just down below there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Hit that subscribe button as well, come and be a part of this community. And yeah, let me know if you've got any questions about this little Ulanzi wide angle lens or the Sony ZV-1. I think that's it for this video. See you in the next one.